Hey everyone, it's Lori from Scrap Spice Sissy. Happy Thursday! Are you ready for some more shenanigans? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, never know what's going to happen around here. So, let's see. Let me make my laptop a little bigger so I can see what's going on. Maybe um, I will apologize up front if you hear massive dog barking. I have... Um, all three puppies in here, puppies. We have a almost 10 year old, a nine year old, and a, I'm sorry, a six year old and a three year old. So yeah, uh, let's see. Today we are going to be playing with the stamp set called Flowing Flowers. I'm try and say that three times fast along with the brushed brass butterflies. So this is actually a card we created at my January through June mini catalog and celebration catalog lodge party. So I thought it was pretty simple. There, there's a lot of element, uh, elements to it, but once they're all punched and ready to go, it doesn't take long for you to put the card together. So let me give you, here we go. Still, there we go. Now I can see what's going on. Hi, Beth. I couldn't see your comments there for the moment because I couldn't get the picture on the laptop to blow up. So there we go. Anyway, let me give you the measurements to our card. It is, uh, the card base is in Knight of Navy, and it's eight and a half by five and a half, and I've scored it at four and a quarter. There are two pieces of pool party, and they're both four by five and a quarter. And then there's two pieces of basic white at three and three quarters by five. So it's just basic layering for this card. And we're also going to use the new bow punch. I think that's how you say it. This is it. It's in the new mini catalog. Um, did we play with this last week? I can't remember. That was what, eight days ago, seven days ago? This, it, I, we did play with this last week when I did the ladybug. That's right. This is the stamp set that goes with the bow punch. It's called Bows and Blossoms. And it does have two images that um, mimic the, I, the blah, 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 blah. see, here we go, the punched items, but they don't fit. This is bigger than, than the actual punch, and this one's got a curve to it. So, But it's still, I love the font on this, even though there's only three sentiments. So I, just, I wanted to show you that. Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna pull this out because we're gonna do some stamping off of our layer. Put our envelope aside. We're gonna try and make this a neat area today. Ha ha, right? See how that works out for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and punch these two first. And I found it easier if you have just a small strip and that way you're not wasting your cardstock when you're punching out your items. Okay, so those two are done. Put that over there. And then I'm going to go ahead and tie the bow. We're using my very all-time favorite ribbon, the Pool Party Shimmer Ribbon. Let's go ahead and tie a little bow. And it's much easier to tie bows when the ribbon is on the spool. There we go. And we'll just kind of adjust him as we go. Make a liar out of me. There we go. <laughs> oh, I can tie a thousand bows and never have any issues. Put me in front of a camera and I'll have an issue every single time. Hello, Janine, how are you? Uh, welcome to the shenanigans. Now, I don't know what's gonna happen today. You just never know around here, right? It's a surprise every time. Okay, so we're gonna start with this larger flower to create our background on the front layer. Set these two guys aside. And I'm using Pool Party and Night of Navy today. So, you're gonna ink up your stamp. Make sure I'm in the shot, you never know. And I'm going to start by stamping in the corners. And I'm just gonna stamp once and then come around a second time. I'm going to stamp full strength on the opposite corner and then come around 
to that side. Oops, you see? We got a second side. Let's try that again. I know we don't want perfect, but it would be nice if it was close to perfect. Yeah, all right. We'll make that the bottom of the card. Nobody looks at the bottom. Okay, so we're going to stamp this and then come over here and back it off a little bit so that we don't get that line. Now granted, that's really, really light, but that's okay. That's what I wanted. So we're gonna glue this piece to our pool party layer. One of the pool party layers. Just set this down like so. And then we're going to glue it to the front of the card. And we'll be halfway done already. Hold our card base in half. And I found out this morning when I was using my big Carl cutter for some uh, thank you cards that need to be done this week. Um, if you change out the matting on that, it gives you better cut, so it's not so raggedy on the ends. But that's okay. All right. So, same being said with our trimmer, make sure that you run something in that. I'll show you what I'm talking about. See, I'm going off on one of those tangents. When your trimmer, when this thing, see how mucked up it is with all the little paper pieces? Get something thin and then just run it right up that, um, whatever you call it, that line. It'll clear that out and help give you cleaner cuts. So, there's my tip of the day for what it's worth. All right, so we're going to stamp on our little label here, and this is die cut using the stitched So Sweetly labels. There we go. And then I'm going to run some adhesive on the back side. Oops. Maybe. It gets so cold in here. Oh, I forgot to turn off my notifications. Oops. <laughs> there we go. I forgot. I, it gets so cold in the studio that my inks um, and adhesives don't work really, really well. I had to remember to leave the heat on a little bit. Granted, we're not as cold as it is back east, but it's still, because this studio was converted from a garage, it still gets really cold in here. So I'm layering that on a die cut of vellum, and I use the largest circle in our layering circles set of dies. I'll get some dimensionals on this guy and lay him on the front. Ugh, looks like I only have little ones but they will work just fine. There we go. And we'll put him on the front. Oh, these little ones are hard to get. I trimmed my nails last night, so now I'm having troubles. I know, it doesn't take that to for Lori to have troubles, right? <laughs> okay, so we're gonna lay him on the front like so. And now we're gonna add some of those Oh, these brushed, brass brushed butterflies. Have you seen them yet? Oh gosh, they're so pretty. I absolutely love them. And they're so flat, they make great embellishments for mailing a card. So I'm just gonna add one, like he's flying off the label, and then add another little one up here. Let's add one more, just cause I can. We'll put him over here on this flower. Oh, they're so cute. And the brass with the Knight of Navy is just gorgeous as far as I'm concerned. What do you think? I could keep the card still. Uh, element of surprise is what makes it so much fun. Yes. Y like I said, you never know what's going to happen here. Although it'll probably be boring today. Oh, I forgot to put the butter, the bow on. My mind is just running rampant here. Okay, so we're going to add a mini glue dot to put our bow down. And then the front will be done. Like I said, once everything is die cut and punched, this card comes together pretty quickly, which is what I like. This is kind of a eh bow. All right, there we go. 
there. Oh my God, I just love that ribbon. It's so pretty you know, with that shimmer. Okay, so the front's done. Let's do the inside now. So I'm gonna use one of the smaller flowers and we're gonna mimic this. But we're only gonna stamp it twice. And I'm not even gonna stamp it off. I'm just gonna stamp full strength because my ink pad needs to be inked. <laughs> All right, so being that we need lots of birthday cards this time of year, I'm gonna make this, use the sentiment happy birthday, just like we did at the catalog launch. We're gonna, we're gonna be different and set this right here. I don't know if anybody else puts their sentiments at the bottom, but I like it. Maybe because I'm weird, I don't know. What do you think? Do you like it better in the top, the middle? What's your favorite way of doing it? Okay. Catch myself looking over at the laptop. Not paying attention to what I'm doing. That could be disastrous. That's the other card. So we're gonna lay this down right here. Our card is done. You know, that sentiment really says a lot these days. Sending in car a card instead of a text, I just love it. Okay, so card is done. Let's go ahead and stamp our envelope and we will be done. Quick and easy. We're gonna put this on the flat because it's such a big image, just like so. How's that? Okay. What do you think? I want to say elegant, but maybe not quite as elegant as some of the cards I have made in the past. But I think the blue and the... I've always liked Night of Navy and uh, Pool Party together. We used to have a color chart of contrasting colors, and this was one of them. So there we go. There's our two projects. I like them in all three places, just depends on the card and the sentiment. Okay, good, that's good to know. I thought maybe, see, and that shows you the difference. You still have lots of room to write up there. So, there you go. All righty, thank you for stopping by and spending a few moments with me this morning. Do me a favor and like and share this video. You know, it's all about numbers. Um, see what happens if we get some more, um, some higher numbers on this thing. Um, I got to go over and finish up my blog post. Actually, I just got to post it. I was kind of ahead of the game yesterday and got it all done. And that's even having Charlie in here yesterday. So I thank you again for stopping by and I hope you have a great week. Catch you later.